Like so many people here in Northeast Ohio, we're concerned about its future. And when we are challenged to look at an often overlooked industry that could help rejuvenate this area, we found it to be thriving, energizing, and even booming. We found that early care and education is a significant industry in Ohio. And if a renovated YWCA in downtown Canton is a barometer, the neighborhoods across Northeast Ohio that house small children in nurturing atmospheres can indeed turn cities around. And by the way, also heal troubled children. It's hard to believe. That is until you meet people like Kathy Jennings, who is the director of the YWCA Early Childhood Learning Center. The majority of the population that we serve are coming from low income, single parent families. We have a homeless shelter on site here, um, upstairs on our third floor. Blue. And those children all come down and then we work with other social service agencies here in town and we provide child care for those children too. Kathy has an able assistant director in Sandy Dyer. Their relationship goes back a long way. I met Kathy um, about 22 years ago. I was a student at Timken High School and I would come over from the early childhood learning department and fill out in the classrooms. Thank you. Yeah. So you don't look great in the camera. Oh, thank you, Madison. I said, hey, this is pretty cool. This is something that I would like to do as well. But they first had to get public and private support to create an environment that would eventually nurture a mixed clientele, ranging from homeless women and their children to a place where special needs children and those with behavioral problems Cheese. could get the specialized care they so desperately need. Now we can make a picture wall of all of our hairdos. While not right? easy, the community came through. There was capital campaign that was done, um, United Way, and they were a very large donor. Sisters of Charity Foundation, which has invested very large amounts of money in this community over the last seven years in for specifically for quality child care. Local foundations such as our Timken Foundation and Hoover Price Foundation. Then also we went for a national grant which is called Kresge Grant. Um, we were the first to receive that type of grant here in Stark County. And then we did fundraising on our own. Administrators are proud of the student to teacher ratios in all the areas they serve, infant, toddler, preschool, and school age children. If the state says a one to five ratio for infants, the center operates on a one to three. So now their student to teacher ratio ranks as one of the best in the state. For the children, it becomes their second home. Our child care center is open from 6.30 in the morning to 6.30 in the afternoon, and sometimes 7, just depending on the needs of our parents. Walking feet. We have a lot of single moms that is working. Some parents have two jobs, so the children see a lot of us. And on any given day, the teachers see everything they'd see in the child's home. 